Good morning, everybody. Sports Live in the ATL. Wednesday premiere. Pennant Race Baseball Edition. Premiere. This video is brought to you by Beast of the East and the LA Dodgers owning my Atlanta Braves. Road to 3K is in full effect. Please subscribe to the channel, share it to your media outlets, click the bell so you'll know when the content and the games and the streams are uploading and uploaded. Uh, Share it to all your media outlets, support the channel, PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat, thanks option are available. But most importantly, keep continuing to interact in the chats, in the premieres, in the streams, and uh, enjoy your time here on my channel. Well, it's come down to five games. Well, maybe not even that. Um, Phillies and the Braves coming into uh, last night's game. Braves magic number of three. Actually, five of clinching the uh, NL East for the fourth straight year and uh, increasing their lead to three and a half games over the Phillies. Uh, great pitching matchup, obviously. Um, Charlie Morton versus Zach Wheeler. I've seen the Braves hit Wheeler before. I've seen the Phillies hit Charlie Morton before. I was working, so I was not able to watch the game, but I was on it as I usually am. And uh, what a game it was, what a game it turned out to be. Uh, Braves win it by a score of two to one. Over the Phillies to take the first game of the three-game series, the huge three-game series, which consequently will decide the NL East nine out of ten uh, times, most likely. Uh, Ninety-nine percent chance it's going to decide it. Uh, game two tonight, it'll be Max Fried going up against Aaron Nola. Uh, where you're hiding, and myself will be at the game live. So he, I'll, so I'll be wearing my Chipper Jones, my Braves hat. He'll be wearing his Philadelphia gear. Uh, let's talk about the game right now. Um, from what I did, I do know, obviously, I was listening to it a lot and, and the post-game show after it was over when we closed, and then I saw the highlights, and now I'm listening to Philadelphia Sports Radio. Um, it was a typical low-scoring playoff matchup. You know, when, usually when it comes down to the playoff time this and, and down to the stretch to where you need to try to get into the playoffs, that's what's going to happen. You're going to have low-scoring games. As they say, great pitching beats great hitting. And it was a masterful uh, pitching performance by Charlie Morton and by Zach Wheeler. Zach Wheeler had one inning to where the Braves did something. That was in the third with Jorge Soler, a two-run single. Braves had some chances, I, from what I could tell from Twitter, uh, to increase the lead. Phillies didn't have anything going really until the ninth inning. Of course, Will Smith came in. I can't really fault Will Smith on this one, but you should have seen Twitter. They're like, Okay, Will Smith is coming in now, and then let's pray to God now. Basically, that's what I said. Uh, Bryce Harper led off the ninth with a walk, and then I think there was a nice uh, catch by Heredia in the outfield, or it would have been first and third probably with nobody out. And then I forgot, I don't know this guy's name, Yearling or whatever. It's a liner to Rosario, and of course he drops it. So first and third, one out. So drama builds usually. You know, even though it's not really of Will Smith's doing per se, uh, whenever he's on the mound, it's always an adventure. Even the out that uh, was recorded by her radio was hit hard. I saw the highlights. He had to stretch to catch it. Will Smith just cannot come in, and he doesn't have that oomph to where he – I mean, he, he, he can close games, but it's never easy, and at some point it's going to bite him. And that's not what we need – moving forward. I mean, he's already done it enough in the regular season. 35 saves by this guy, and he makes it stressful all the time. It's like, I would like to be able to say, okay, Will Smith is coming in, you know, we got this. But no, it's not like that at all. And then his first and third one out, and I think they intentionally walked Andrew McCutcheon to make bases loaded and one out. So all the Phillies needed was a hit, and the game is tied, an extra base hit, and all of a sudden we're trailing. I didn't know it was bases loaded. I did know they had a runner uh, at, uh, I thought it was just runner at first because, you know, like I said, I was on Twitter when I was working, so I really couldn't keep abreast of how it was going. But I found that it was bases loaded, one out, and then a fly out by Gregorius scored Harper, making it 2-1. to one, And then Will Smith struck out Freddie Galvis on a 3-2 pitch. He, Will Smith falls behind hitters. He makes it interesting. Yeah, I saw the strikeout. He was pumped up. But Will Smith, can you please can you please make it easier on us and yourself? 
and go in the next time if if it, if you get another opportunity and just shut the door one two three please can, can we stop all this i mean the main thing is we got the win we cut the magic number to three to cleanse the division and uh but come on we, we need to make it easier on ourselves um where you're hiding myself will be at the game a couple hours before the game we're going to enjoy the festivities and the atmosphere i know he's nervous i'm nervous you know, I'm getting texts by Phillies fans, Eagles fan for life 17. It's over. It, look, it looks really good for the Braves, don't get me wrong, but it's Atlanta sports. I, I, I've, I've understood and I've come to the grips with myself that being an Atlanta sports fan, it's never over until it's over. There's no, I, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not any more confident now than I was the first game or when we were down in, in third place. You know, it's Atlanta sports, man. It's never easy. It's never over until it's over. And I've learned that throughout the years. So as far as I'm concerned, we haven't done anything yet. It does look good. It feels good to be in this position because basically what has to happen is we have a three and a half game lead. Okay, we have that half game in our favor here at home against the Rockies if it needs to be that way on Monday. But the Phillies, what they have to do the rest of the way, these final five definite regular season games, they have to beat the Braves today, tomorrow, And then the Phillies, let me see, they have, beat, they have to beat the Braves today and tomorrow. Give me a second. Bobby Glavin's summer's over, man. Get these bugs out of here. I mean, they don't flood the outside, but they come out every now and then and it bothers me. But, well, anyways, what the Phillies have to do is they have to win out. They have to beat the Braves, which means they have to beat a game that Max Fried pitches <coughs> tonight, excuse me, and then they got to beat Ian Anderson tomorrow in Atlanta to stay alive. If the Braves win these next two games, we're division champs. And then the Phillies have to sweep the Miami Marlins in Miami. And yeah, Miami stinks, but they always give the Phillies trouble. And if I was the Phillies, I wouldn't want to be in that situation because um, the, the Marlins are capable of winning one game. So that's how what that, and then the, then the Phillies have to hope the Braves lose all three games at home to the Mets, which I don't see happening. This Braves team is too good. Now, I could see maybe the Braves go into a one or two game skid in this series, possibly the last two games, but I, I don't see the Mets. I mean, let's just say, even if the Phillies win these next two games, the Braves are one and a half up, magic number three. All they'd have to do is beat the Mets two out of three, which they definitely could do, or the Phillies get lose two games to the Marlins or the Braves win one game and the Phillies lose two to the I mean it's 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 it's, it's a tough road but in no way shape and form am I com comfortable I'm not comfortable until we clinch the division or if we clinch the division I'm hoping that it works out to where the Braves win tonight at the game that where you're hiding and myself are at and then tomorrow night I'll stream the game and be a division champs again. But like I said, it's Atlanta sports. Nothing is easy here. You never really know what's going to happen. Uh, tonight Max, it's Max Freed against uh, Aaron Nola. I know what Aaron Nola is capable of doing. Uh, he, but he, but like Zach Wheeler, he is hittable. Max Freed, two complete games this year, and you don't really see complete games that much any anymore. Last outing, a nine-inning masterpiece against the Padres in a game that we really needed it after blowing that suspension game by Will Smith, obviously. And then we wound up winning all three, the remaining three games in the series, all regular games against the Padres. So um, what I would hope to come out of tonight is the crowd is loud and in their seats by the time the anthem hits, you know, ready to, to put the Phillies behind the eight ball. It's, it's, it's crucial that the Braves keep the Phillies off the board in the first and see if the Braves can score some early runs. Because uh, the longer the game goes, uh, the, the tougher Aaron Nola is. And Aaron Nola is a competitor. Max Fried is a competitor. I could see it being kind of like the game yesterday. But I could also see it going a, a total 180 and both team, both pitchers getting bombed. Because even though both teams are both uh, pitchers are really good, you could press and you could throw a bad pitch in certain spots and get hit. You know, they're human. You know, just because you got the name Max Fried and Aaron Nola on the back of the jersey, that doesn't guarantee that they're going to pitch well. It's, it's going to be a, a, a tough because the Phillies know how bad they need it. 
They're on life support. The Braves know that they don't want to give the Phillies any hope. The Braves want to try to end this as soon as possible because what you don't want to do is come down to a weekend series against a Mets team that's really bad and a Marlins team that is really bad facing the Phillies and rely on, you know, rely on something like that to happen. You know, no, nah, I, I don't want that. I, the Braves are in control. Uh, they won last night, not you know, not having a great offensive uh, performance, but they managed to get it done. Just got to do the same thing tonight. So. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'd rather be three and a half up than three and a half back. I would rather be three and a half up than uh, one and a half up because basically last night was a two-game swing. If we would have lost, we would have been one and a half up. So, I mean, there's a little room for error, but if I was the Braves, don't play around with it. Just, you know, do what you got to do. You're facing a a, a desperate Philly team who's got a lot of talent over there. The Phillies, uh, with the loss yesterday, were eliminated from the wild card spot, so... For the Phillies, it's a division or nothing. And from what I could tell, for the Braves, it's division or nothing. I don't think the Braves are actually obviously not eliminated from the wild card, but you don't want to go that route. You know, Braves don't want to go that route. They got this right in their control. And in a way, that's kind of scary. When Atlanta sports teams have things in the palm of their hand and in control, and then the percentages starts popping up about how percentages they are about to win it, then Atlanta, Atlanta pulls in Atlanta. And I don't know if I could take another one. And people say, oh, Braves getting to the playoffs. They're not going to beat the Dodgers or the Giants or the Brewers. You don't, or the Cardinals. You don't know that. This is a good Braves team. But get in the playoffs and see what happens. You know, just just ask the Mets fans how 100 days in first place worked out for them, all the running their mouth that they did. Now the Phillies are on the verge of experiencing the same thing. But Braves got to get it done. In no way am I gloating. In no way am I 100% confident. Uh, everybody who knows me knows how I am. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for popping into this premiere. I don't know how long it is because uh, I'm not looking at the timer. But, hey, man, it is what it is. We're going to have a good time tonight. And uh, go Braves from Truist Park. Um, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. Like this like button. Share it to all your outlets. Support the channel any way possible. And uh, have a great time while you're doing it. And, uh update on some streams like i said i ho- I'm hopeful to stream the game tomorrow night and uh, i'm not sure about going to the washington atlanta game yet i'll know thursday i'm kind of leaning towards not going uh, i would like to kind of enjoy myself and watch all the football games um this sunday so if that happens i will stream the game on sunday at one o'clock eastern time but i will definitely be going to an atlanta game falcons game again for sure but this one is not ruled out just yet uh, so we'll see. Sports having the ATL. Go Braves. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. And people who watch this archive, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.